Welcome everyone. I'm Julian Gray, Director of the Southwest Coast Bath Association and Vice Chair of the World Trails Network. I'm speaking from Cornwall today and today is the launch of the G7 West of here down in Carbis Bay and this event has been held as part of the G7 Fringe. I'd like to give a Cornish welcome to you all, Canal Agas Danurg, and declare this summit open. Firstly, I'd like you to join me in welcoming the international panel from the G7 plus four countries. And it's great to see representation from so many different trail organizations around the world joining us today. I noticed John in Vancouver has just got up at 4.30 this morning, so a special welcome to you. Now a bit of virtual housekeeping. We're running the summit as a webinar and there are differences in how this looks to a standard video conference. You won't be able to see yourselves and, and will be on mute. However, there are two ways of engaging with us and other participants. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see two icons for chat and Q&A. If you want to try the chat function now and introduce yourselves and comment through the sessions. The ask, the ask a question function uh, works in the same way and should be used to ask panelists during the Q&A session at the end. And also please note this webinar is being recorded and will be made available afterwards. Uh, so for the next hour, we have a panel of 12 international trail experts who will discuss two main themes. The first being the impact of COVID-19 on trail infrastructure and the role trails can play in the path to recovery through connecting people to nature and focusing on the importance of equity of access and the positive benefits on uh, physical health and mental well-being. The second being focused around trails and climate change, including impacts where trails are already feeling the pressure of climate crisis and then mitigation such as enabling active travel by connecting communities and delivering nature recovery, all helping to reduce our footprint. In the panel Q&A session, we'll also hopefully see how these two themes draw together in how trails can be beacons of sustainable development, using the trail corridors to improve both our environment and people's lives. We'll start with a series of quick introductory statements from our panelists, highlighting issues around the world of trails, and then move on to a panel Q&A session. So first, we've got a, a message from uh, Rebecca Pau, uh, one of our uh, ministers, uh, and then I'd like to hand over to Galio Saints, chair of the World Trails Network and co-host of this event. So, on to Rebecca. Hello everybody, and on behalf of the UK, I'm delighted to welcome distinguished international speakers from around the globe for this World Trails Forum. National trails play such a valuable role in driving health and well-being, and at the same time, providing a significant economic boost for the communities along the line of our trails. And uh, here in the UK, as part of our 25 year environment plan, which sets us on a sustainable trajectory for the future and puts in place the framework for doing that, we're investing in our 2,800 mile English coastal path. And it is very beautiful. I've walked quite a lot of it myself, uh, particularly in the southwest region uh, of England. And we hope that as the world overcomes a coronavirus, national efforts to enhance our trails and your own work in each of your countries continues to deliver the great benefits that these trails can bring. I'm delighted that you're working through the World Trails Forum despite these challenging times, and I wish you every success with this conference. Thank you. <laughs> 